Choosing the wrong pump for your water feature can leave you with an unsatisfactory appearance, excessive operating costs, shortened life for your pump, and dissatisfaction with the project. Choosing the right pump for your application is simple when you know the TDH, or total dynamic head, which is the measure of work your pump will have to perform. Atlantic's guide to calculating TDH makes it easy. To follow along, you will need a piece of scrap paper, a pencil, and a calculator. You can download your own guide from our website. Before we start, you will need to know the width of your waterfall, the length of tubing between the pump and the top of the waterfall, and the vertical head height, which is the distance from the surface of the water the pump is in to the top of the waterfall. In this example, we'll say the width of the waterfall will be 2.5 feet, and the tubing length will be 25 feet. Keep in mind for a later step that the vertical head height of the waterfall will be 10 feet. Let's begin by picking a look and specifying a flow. Choose between a trickle of water around 750 gallons per hour per foot of waterfall width, a sheet at around 1500 gallons per hour per foot, or Niagara at around 2250 gallons per hour per foot. Let's say we want Niagara. The total flow for Niagara we'll need is 2250 gallons per hour. Multiply it by the width of our waterfall, 2.5 feet wide, and we'll find we need a flow of 5,625 gallons per hour. There are a few things we'll need to accomplish in this next step. First, we'll find the ideal tubing size for this flow, and a multiplier that will tell us the friction head. If you already have plumbing in place, the chart will give you the multiplier for the friction in your existing system. We'll round up our flow of 5,625 to 6,000 gallons per hour. And on the friction per foot of tubing chart, we'll run our finger to the dark blue cell that indicates the best plumbing size to reduce friction. In this case, it's three inch tubing. The multiplier would be 0 0.03. That's the friction head in every foot of tubing at the flow we have specified. If you have a different tubing size, Find the multiplier in the column that corresponds to the size you have. Next, we'll add up the equivalent friction loss for our fittings from the friction in equivalent feet of straight pipe chart and calculate the friction head. If our system requires one 90 degree elbow, one male female adapter, and one check valve, all three inch in diameter, we must add together 11, 6.5, and 27 totaling 44.5 feet of equivalent length. Add your 44.5 feet of equivalent length to the original tubing length of 25 feet. Round up to find the total equivalent length of 70 feet of tubing. Here's where we need our multiplier. The friction in each foot of tubing, which we determined, was 0 0.03. Multiply the equivalent tubing length of 70 feet by 0 0.03 and we find that the friction head in the tubing and fittings is approximately 2 feet. Now it's finally time to calculate the TDH. We'll simply add the friction head, 2 feet, to the vertical head, which we specified was 10 feet, to find that the TDH is 12 feet. This is why tubing size is so important. If you have 2 inch tubing instead of 3 inch, the multiplier for 2 inch tubing jumps to 0.22, over 7 times higher. Through 2 inch tubing, our fitting lengths in feet also change. We must add 8.5, 4.5, and 19 for 2 inch diameter tubing. We'd multiply 57 feet of equivalent length by our multiplier of 0.22 and get 13 feet. Then, we'll take the 13 feet and add it to our 10 feet of vertical head. Our TDH would be about 23 feet. Now that we know the total work the pump needs to do, we can find the right pump for our application. Using the TDH chart, we'll run down the line corresponding to 12 feet of total dynamic head for 3 inch tubing until we find a pump that gives us the flow we want and is operating in the dark blue area, the best efficiency range for that pump. In this application, the TT9000 will provide optimal flow for the 5,625 gallons per hour we need at 12 feet of total dynamic head 
for only 587 watts. Through 2 inch tubing at 23 feet, we would need to jump to a direct drive pump that draws double the watts. Great work! Now that you know how to calculate the total dynamic head for your applications, you'll always be able to find the perfect pump for your water features.